Air circulates the globe in different ways. There are the Hadley, Ferrell, and Polar cells. In between these cells, there are sharp changes in temperature. This is where air currents called the polar and subtropical jet streams develop. A jet stream is a relatively narrow band of strong wind in the upper levels of the atmosphere. They move from west to east and meander around the earth. The flow shifts north or south following the boundary between hot and cold air. The biggest change in temperature is around 30 degrees and 50 to 60 degrees north or south latitude. At 30 degrees north or south is the subtropical jet stream. At 50 to 60 degrees north or south, you'll find the polar jet stream. Jet streams are usually between 4 to 9 miles above the Earth's surface, near the tropopause, and can have wind speeds reaching more than 275 miles per hour. Wind speeds increase toward a central core. The polar jet is strongest in the winter, where it can sometimes merge with the subtropical jet. The jet stream is a handy forecasting tool to predict temperatures and storm development in different regions. Next time, we'll discuss El Nino. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to Mr. Weather's World on YouTube for new videos every Mr. Weather Wednesday.